So today I got a short bit on hot water tanks. Uh, there's again lots of options for hot water. There's one that'll pull the heat off the hot water from your radiator and uh, use it to transfer the heat to a hot water tank, uh, but you got to be running for that. There's portable propane units, but you need a tank for those. I wasn't too happy with putting a tank inside. I don't mind having a barbecue on the outside, but I chose a different method because I have the solar and the energy to do it. I've gone and purchased a 12 volt, 300 watt. It's made by a company called Dernord. Uh, they make quite a few of these types of elements. And then I went and picked up a Ream two and a half gallon hot water tank, domestic one. It has a 120 volt plug for it here. And what I've done is I've taken the cover off the side. There's just one screw at the bottom. And I've lifted up this tab, and there is the element there. There's two wires attached to the element. And what I'm going to do, I took a pair of pliers. I'm going to twist that out, and I'm going to install the 12-volt one. A little bit stiff. It's brand new. And it's got a bit of sealer on it. So all hot water tanks, domestic hot water tanks, if you have a tank of any kind, has this same element in it. Like I say, this is the 12 volt, 300 watt and this is uh, from a reputable company. Uh, so it's not a 120 volt that they're passing off as a 12 volt. It is a true uh, one, uh, true 12 volt. So I'm gonna put this back in. It had a rubber gasket on it already. You don't need a lot of pressure on that just until your rubber gasket seats. And then I'm going to hook up the electrical, basically the same as the other one. There's four pieces here, four uh, terminals, but we're going to use two of them. They're bridged from the other side. So there it is, all back together. Like I said, I took the 120 volt element out. I put in the 12 volt, 300 watt. Element. Since the last video, I've now installed the water tank in the van. As you can see here, there's the connections for my 12 volt, 300 watt element. And those wires come up to the thermostat. Uh, they're already there, and um, what I've done is I've added those two six-wire uh, ones. The negative ground runs up and grounds out to the chassis, and the other one goes up and through the cabinet to a shutoff inside my kitchen cabinet. The wire then runs from there over and ties in here with my 12-volt bus coming off my lithium batteries. See here I got my smart shunt up at 73% uh, state of charge right now. What I'm going to do is turn on my hot water tank and you'll see that wattage climb. Fridge is on as well so that's drawing 100 watts and right now I'm drawing 400 watts. I don't have any solar going in at this time because it's a little bit overcast, just 48 watts. If it was sunny, I'd be pushing close to uh, 250 watts power. So I went online and found the calculation for two and a half gallons of water at 300 watts 
from 18 degrees, which is just the outside air temperature, to 90 degrees, which is what I set the thermostat at. It's at about 35 minutes. I've actually already done this once, and uh, it took not quite 40 minutes to come up to 90 degrees to turn off the water tank. So here's the rest of my water system here. Uh, just finished it up. So that's what goes and splits off the hot and cold. There's the finish of the ream hot water tank. And that's where it sits down there and the plumbing comes up. I gotta shut off the air for the cold water. I use that for some of the tests. It'll kind of become redundant. And it runs through past the shutoff here. And I'm just about to install the last cabinet here and I'll put my tap shutoffs for my kitchen sink on the end of there. So that's my video on the DC element in the two and a half gallon ream hot water tank. I ran a test, turned the water on. Uh, it is hot. I can hear the thermostat uh, going on and off occasionally. I've been checking my solar. I'm not actually putting any solar in today. Um, but it's been on now, running about five hours, I guess. I have gone from 73% power down to, I think, 66 was the last time I looked. Um, but, like I say, just I'm parked in the shade here, so I'm not putting any solar into it. Yeah, it's showing 66% right now. So I think it's a great idea. I think it works very well uh, if you are able to put some good solar power. If you are driving down the road, of course, my DC to DC generator is going to have no problem keeping up to that. And, of course, if you're plugged in somewhere, uh, I know you can do it with a with AC one as well. But um, this kind of just gives you the options of pretty much anything. So if you like the video, um, let me know. If you got any comments or any other ideas, please comment and I'll try and get back to you and of course subscribe to the channel and we'll keep them coming.